Welcome to Bears and Exhale. Today is Wednesday, January 16th, and this is a quick hit on the indexes. Um, not a very special day. I'm going to look at the, uh, the Dow, SPX, uh, CompQ, and TNA. And starting off with the Dow, as usual. And here we are. We... Uh, we had essentially a, a, a nothing day, a little bit of a red day. We were saying last night that we've had so many green days that we were due for a red, and we got a red. Uh, not a very impressive red. Um, beyond that, what can we see? Well, we know if we were to get a downtick at this moment, we're finally at the point. Uh, a few videos back we were saying we wanted this to get to the point where if you had a downtick, it would be at or above this area here. And uh, the Dow was the big laggard. And as of today, maybe actually as of yesterday, yeah, as of yesterday, um, we can have a downtick, have a bubble corrective move, and still hold above this previous high. That is a very good sign. So there's no need to fear a downtick at this moment, in my opinion. Uh, do I think a downtick is desirable yes um, but do we have one yet no we do not we have everything pretty high we have some indication that uh, we could have a downtick in the next couple of days uh, CCI is moving down the uh, stochastics are trying to turn 14 day RSI moving average is holding high so is the RSI so is the uh, MACD which actually is still ticking up not going sideways and the MACD histogram is also ticking down so we know that there is some potential issues here, but longer term, nothing to fear, in my opinion. Uh, moving on to SPX, and it's more of the same. It was uh, barely positive today, unlike the Dow. We do not have a downtick, we just have a doji. And if we were to have a downtick, Yep, we are so clear of this area right here. There's nothing to worry about in the uh, medium term. Um, and that's, that's really all there is to it. Um, bubble corrective move at this point, I think, is would be a very, very healthy thing. Uh, and there's nothing really to worry about at this moment. So... Um, now, if we were to have this negative divergence play out, yeah, that would uh, that would be that would be uh, a little bit painful, about uh, fourteen twenty or so. But um, we should know right here, after a bubble corrective move, if uh, all of that is going to play out. So, worried at this point for the bulls? Nope, I am not. And until we get that downtick, I'm not overly concerned about uh, a bubble corrective move either. So should have plenty of time. Plenty of time. And let's see here. CompQ. The NASDAQ. Yeah. And we know that we're not at uh, previous highs. Um, where it crapped out was not really special except it was a partial gap fill. Uh, we know it needs to go a little bit higher in order to uh, complete that. Uh, we did have a downtick yesterday, which uh, has not been uh, has not played out, but there's still three more days to do so. So if we do get a downtick on uh, SPX Dow, it'd be very easy for this to uh, to do its downtick move. But uh, look how far away that would be from uh, the previous high. Um, I just don't think that there's much to worry about in the intermediate term at this point. I don't. Um, going on to TNA, which has been the strongest, the strongest of everything. And today it did get a little move down, and you could only say that this is a downtick in the most extreme blow up. I really don't think that that is healthy to do. It should be uh, plainly evident on a regular, regular looking chart, and to, on, in that case, it looks sideways. But 
just for fun, let's say that this is a proper down tick. It only takes it down to 69, just above 69. You know, two points down. It's nothing. It's nothing. Um, yes, everything's high. Yes, we have the MACD going down. We have the MACD histogram slanting down and everything else holding sideways high or in the case of the RSI still moving up. Um, not afraid of this. Not afraid of this. Even with a down tick, look how much room there is between it and the previous high. Uh, I just don't think that the bulls have anything to worry about at this time. But even if we uh, if we did get a move down to this, we should know that it is uh, going that far by the time the down tick is finished. Should have some indication. So there's plenty of room, plenty of time to catch that if it's uh, supposed to be it. But uh, even if it moves down, gets to this point, it's probably going to bounce off of it. Um, and that's pretty much it. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you very much.